So which will be 4 times v final minus 4 times v initial. So four, the 4 kilogram object's mass is 4. So that's why I'm using 4 there. 4 times vf minus 4 times v initial. And the v final of the 4 kilogram object is, uh, where is it here? We have it, 10 sevenths because it's part of their system. You know, together they're going at 10 sevenths. So here this is 4 times 10 sevenths minus 4 times v initial is going to be 1. And now we're left with uh, 40 minus 28 uh, is uh, 12 sevenths. So the 3 kilogram object imparts uh, impulse on the 4 kilogram object equal to 12 seventh Newton seconds. Right? Now, if I want to find their force of contact, I can set the J equal to uh, F delta T. Right? Remember that the impulse is equal to the force of contact times the time of the contact. So if you assume that the collision is taking place in half a second, 0.5 seconds, so we're going to have here uh, 12 sevenths equals F average times a half a second, and then uh, F average equals 12 divided by half is uh, uh, 24 over sevenths, right? impulse, the, that would be their force. The, the mutual force of uh, collision here will be 3.42 Newtons. And it would be the same answer if I had done it the other way. If I had said delta P of the 3 kilogram is J on 3 kilogram, and then I would have had 3 times V final minus 3 times V initial, I would have had 3 here, then I would have had 10 sevenths minus 4, uh, I would have 3 here, then the V initial of the 3 would have been what? Uh, 2, right? So it will be 3 times 10 sevenths minus 3 times 2. And then I should get an answer equal to 12 sevenths again, a negative 12 sevenths. In other words, the, um, the answer, J on the 3 kilogram object, should be negative 12 sevenths. I already know that because they impart on each other equal and opposite impulses. Okay, that's similar to saying, according to Newton's third law, for every action force, there's an equal and opposite reaction force. If one object imports one impulse to the other object, the other object imports an opposite impulse to the other object. So then you would also set this equal to F times uh, 0.5, and then the average force on the 3 kilogram block is negative 3.42 newtons. So they exert opposite and equal forces on each other. Okay. Okay.